What is going on everybody and welcome back to Mad Detailing. Today's video is on this F-150 King Ranch and as you guys can see this vehicle has been sitting for a long time now. I guess the backstory on this truck is it broke a long time ago and it's been sitting for like three or four years now. So it has accumulated a ton of dirt on the outside and on the inside it's got a ton of mold. I guess some moisture got in here. And there's also a ton of lizards as you can see one of the headlights and there's probably like 30 or 40 inside of this vehicle along with a ton of frogs so this truck definitely needs a extreme makeover but here at mad detailing we are going to make this vehicle look absolutely brand new again so if you guys are new to this channel make sure you guys like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos but with that being said we're going to go ahead and roll these before shots and get right into this disaster detail Moving on to cleaning these extremely neglected wheels, I'm going to be using our Extreme APC on the tires and fender wheels. And for the wheels, I'm using our Mad Acid along with multiple different brushes so I can make sure I get every inch of this wheel and tire 100% clean. Before I can move on to actually washing this vehicle, I'm using our Extreme APC as a pre-soak and that's going to remove all the mildew and dirt that's built up onto the paint before I move on to actually hand washing this vehicle. Thank 
And as you guys can see right here, I'm actually washing this vehicle from the bottom to the top. And the reason why I'm doing that is because anytime I use a pre-soak, a degreaser, foam cannon, anything, and I'm trying to remove all the dirt and debris, you always wanna start from the bottom to the top because if not, if you start from the top to the bottom, all you're doing is washing that degreaser straight down and you're gonna have a ton of streaking left behind and it's still gonna be dirty. So yeah, anytime I use a degreaser, any type of pre-soak, I always wash from the bottom to the top. So moving on to actually washing this vehicle, I'm using our foam cannon and our mad detailing super blue soap, along with a microfiber wash mitt. I'm not too worried about using a two bucket wash method because this truck barely has any clear coat on it. So yeah, it would just be a waste of time to use two buckets. So I'm honestly using one bucket and I'm washing multiple panels at a time. And also anytime you're gonna do a extreme paint correction as well, you don't have to sit there and use two buckets. I know a lot of detailers tell you to always use two buckets, but I only do that for maintenance washes or black vehicles or any vehicle that is in good condition that I'm not trying to introduce any more swirls to the vehicle. But other than that, I always just use one bucket. It's easier and it's just a waste of time and a gimmick in my opinion. But in some cases, a two bucket method is 100% necessary. Moving on to the interior of this vehicle, I first need to give the carpet a nice pre-vacuum and that will get it ready for the extraction later on in the video. And moving on to cleaning these seats, these are King Ranch seats, so they are like a real saddle leather. I don't know exactly what they are, but they absolutely suck to clean. After about two or three years, they always look faded in different spots and dirty. But since these were covered in mold, I'm cleaning them a different way than you usually would. Normally you would just use some water, some warm water, a rag and soap, but I'm using our Mad Clean here and a steamer to make sure I clean all the mold. And yes, they are gonna look dirty because they are wet, but once they dry, they look a lot better. But anybody that owns a King Ranch will tell you that this is just how the seats look. So even at the very end of the video, I know you guys will think, oh, there's still some staining, but that's just how this leather is. Any type of water, anything just soaks into them and they're a real pain to clean. And I'm honestly glad that Ford did away with this leather because 
I'm just, I'm not a fan. They look good when they're brand new, but after a few years, they absolutely suck. So the only way to fix this would be to get them resprayed. But honestly, you don't want to do that either because then you have resprayed seats that are going to come off eventually. So honestly, I'm just glad Ford got rid of this leather. Comment down below if you guys own a King Ranch and you guys love this leather or hate it because I would love to hear from you guys.
And moving on to cleaning the interior panels of this vehicle, I'm using our Extreme APC Adito brush and our steamer to make sure I kill off and sanitize all the areas. The owner did say that these panels have been re-dyed before, I'm not sure when. So I'm sure some dye is gonna come off, but there's no other way around it. These panels had to be cleaned this way to make sure they were 100% clean and sanitary. Kill off all that mold. Moving on to the carpet extraction, I'm using our Extreme APC, a Milwaukee drill, and a drill brush attachment. And for the extractor, I'm using my Mighty HP60 hot water extractor. I don't remember exactly what she said this red stain was, but she said it was some type of permanent red dye and other stuff is like brown dye, I don't know, but she said it was spilt on this vehicle about seven years ago. So it's not gonna come out, I don't. <laughs> Last time I said something about tan carpet, I got a bunch of comments people saying, try this, try this, try this. 
And honestly, our Extreme APC is probably one of the strongest degreasers on the market. I've taken out some insane stains with it. So there is no cleaner on the market that's gonna take out these stains. I can promise you guys that. I use the extractor, steamer, probably did it 10, 15 times, and it just doesn't even lighten up. So I'm always down to hear from you guys about what products you guys use and what I should use. But honestly, when it comes to tan carver like this with red stains that have been in there for years and years, they're, they're not gonna come out. Unless you re-dye the carpet, you are not gonna get those stains out of the car. Moving back onto the exterior, the first thing I'm gonna do is clay bar the paint. And for this, I'm using our Mad Clay Lube and a synthetic clay bar. 
and I'm gonna clear the entire vehicle and then I'm gonna use our Rupes Mark III polisher and some HD speed and I'm gonna polish as much as I possibly can. There is a ton of panels on this vehicle that have absolutely no clear coat, but I'm gonna do the best of my abilities to try to bring back some shine and leave behind a nice protection, but there is no way that this truck is gonna look 100%, but it does look a lot better and the customer was happy and that's all that matters.